Hello yogis, today we are doing a restorative practice. So I encourage you to turn on your favorite relaxing music. I will add a link to this video description with a Spotify playlist in case you aren't sure what to listen to. You can just turn on this playlist, turn it on shuffle. So for today, we will need a bolster or one to two pillows, two towels, a blanket. So in replacement of towels, you can always use two more blankets. So I'm using three blankets. If you'd like to do that, we just need one to two pillows, a bolster, and three towels. So go ahead and grab those things, get some water, and I'll meet you on the mat. Welcome back. Before we get started, go ahead and grab your blanket. And we're going to make a long roll in this. So make sure your edges are lined up. And once we have those edges lined up, let's do a short roll instead. We'll take the shorter end and start to roll up our blanket. Once this blanket is rolled up, just go ahead and smooth out the edge of the blanket. And we'll lay the blanket long ways in the middle of the top of our mat. After this, our bolster or pillow will be an option to put underneath our head once we lay down. So have that handy. And then these two blankets, put one on both either side. So one blanket on the right side, one blanket on the left, or towels if you're using them. And just have them folded up. To come down into our first posture, Bring your tailbone right up to the edge of the blanket and lower all the way down. So we want this blanket to line our spine. If this is uncomfortable, feel free to scoot down. Feel free to make the blanket roll a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. If there's too much space in our neck to relax, grab that pillow or bolster and bring it underneath your neck. If it's too much height, we'll just grab the edge of the blanket roll, we'll roll it up once, and we have a nice little cushion for our neck. Option one, legs are out long, resting here. Option two, soles of the feet come together, bound angle butterfly pose, and then we just slip the towel or blankets underneath our thighs. You can always adjust these to make them higher or lower, depending on what your body needs. Go ahead and find a space that feels right for you. We'll be holding each of these postures for five minutes. I'll set a timer for this. And then our first pose, begin to come to your breath. Feel your belly rise and fall, feel your chest rise and fall. Relax your feet, your knees, hips. Relax shoulders. Elbows, hands. Let your mouth open slightly to relax your jaw. Your forehead softens. And your cheeks be heavy. Eyeballs are heavy. Feel the support 
of your blankets, of your props underneath your body. Feel the support of your mat. Start to check in with the quality of your thoughts. Recognizing space that's in your body or tightness that may be there. Leave the rest of your day behind. Let your thoughts be as present on your mat as your body is. How does your breath sound? How is it flowing in and out? And begin to sink a little bit deeper in your breath. Start to feel your heartbeat. And let your heartbeat be the cue to your breath. So for four beats, we breathe in. For four beats, we breathe out. Moving in our pace, the pace that our body is setting for us. If you can't feel your heartbeat, try placing your hands on top of your chest, on top of your belly. If you still can't feel it, bring your fingers, point your finger, middle finger to your neck. Searching for the vein. Lengthen out the count of your heartbeat. Breathing in for five beats. Breathing out for five beats. Do you notice any shifting of the count? Maybe your inhales are a bit quicker than your exhales. One more time, lengthen that breathing pattern out. So breathing in for six, breathe out six. Release control of counting your breath. Find an easy 
long pace for your inhales and exhales. And gently guide your knees back together. Move one blanket off to the side or one toe off to the side. And whichever side you move, let your body fall over. Release your blanket out from underneath you. Come back down on your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Gentle movement here. If you have a pillow underneath your head, go ahead and take it out. Gently release your left foot down. Hug your right knee into your chest. Relax your foot. Interlace fingers behind your right thigh. Gently extend your leg up towards the sky. Little rocks forward and back here. Bring your leg a little bit straighter. Heel drives up towards the sky, toes pulled down. Continue moving forward and back. One more time. Can we get the leg a little bit straighter? And rock forwards and back. Rebend right knee into chest. Little baby rock side to side, rotate your ankle, wiggle your toes. Release your right foot down. Exhale, draw your left knee into your chest. Hug here. Relax your foot. Fingers interlace under your thigh, but change the cross of your fingers. So different point your finger on top. Extend your leg up towards the sky. Little baby rocks. Straighten your leg out a little bit more. Heel comes up, toes pulled in. Continue to rock. One more time, a little bit straighter. Move back and forth. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Little movements here, rotate your ankle, wiggle your toes. And then from here, we are going to have blankets to both sides. One blanket will come in between our knees. If you have your blankets folded up a couple times, go ahead and fold them to about this height. Both of them will be that way. After we have those folded, We'll bring both knees into our chest, rock side to side. Rolling over towards our right. So I'll be rolling over towards my left to show you, but let your legs fall over towards the right. The blanket underneath your thighs is there for support. So if our spine can twist a little bit more comfortably, we still want the blanket there. We just move it underneath our knees instead. This blanket that's off towards the left, bring in between your thighs. From here, if we want, we can take the long blanket roll, bring it underneath our neck for a little extra support. Gaze can stay over towards the right. Arms can be up towards the side or up overhead. Finding a twist here, supported twist. If we feel like we're sort of falling back, 
onto our mats. We can grab our pillow and bring it to line the back of our body just to stuff us into this posture. These can also come up towards the sky or turn over to look left as well. Restorative yoga is all about creating the least amount of sensation possible for your body. So feel free to move your props in any way you like. Feel free to get rid of them if that's what's calling to you. Let your body start to feel the earth that support beneath you again. Sort of this very grounding, very centering that helps we can tune back into our heartbeat breath, focusing on breathing in and out the same amount of time. And just let your mind go. Let yourself be in the space, making it a meditation. Feel free to rest here if this space is comfortable and if you feel peace here. If you're ready to move on to the other side, move the bolster if you have it behind you. And gently bring your knees back up to center, remove your blanket back off towards the left. Bring your feet down onto your mat and windshield wipe your knees side to side. Knees come back up into chest, rock side to side, and then let your legs fall over towards the left. So adjusting your body, blanket can stay under your neck. Bolster can be propped up on the side of your body. And 
the side may feel different. So take your time. Find the twist that works for you here. Again, seeking for the least amount of sensation possible. It doesn't have to be the biggest twist. We're still benefiting our bodies as we hold these postures, as we relax, We're embracing rest and digest, quieting the mind and its patterns for fight or flight. It's the whole purpose of restorative. So take this time, tune back into whatever you did before. Could be your heartbeat, your breath, maybe nothing at all. Just Resting here in this quiet space. You are happy resting here. You feel free to stay. Whenever you're ready, move the bolster out from behind you. Knees come back up. Blanket comes out between the knees. Feet place down on your mat, windshield wipe. Knees side to side. Gently roll over onto your left side. Press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Once we're up here, we'll be facing the back of our mat. I'll face you just to show you what this looks like. We're going to bring a towel underneath of our seat. So 
We'll grab one of the towel heaves underneath our thighs. Bring that underneath of you. It can be popped pretty high or not high at all. Your choice. Bolster comes out towards the side. That blanket roll we use underneath our back and underneath our head. We'll bring underneath our knees. Now I know you can't see my feet very well. That's fine. We're gonna roll up the second blanket that was underneath of us and put that underneath of our ankles. So ankles are propped up a little bit. Knees are supported and we may feel like we're falling back. If that's the case, fold the blanket that's underneath your seat one more time. And then have a seat back on top of it. When you're sort of these poses take a little bit longer to get set up, but they feel really good once we get into them. So if this feels good on your body, feel free to stay here. If it's too much, remove the blanket out from underneath your heels. And heels will be on the mat. From here, pillows or bolster comes on top of your thighs. Find a nice long spine. And as you exhale, fold over that pillow. If you're like me and the back chain of muscles is tight in your body. We can either bend our knees a little bit more or turn the pillow on its side and bring it underneath of our armpits and just rest here. You're creating some space along our spine and on our hamstrings. So if at any point you need to move around, please feel free to do so. Checking back into that silence, back into that peaceful state of being. Let your legs just relax. starting to feel especially heavy. You can always remove the blanket that was underneath our heels. Roll it up a little bit more. Place it on top of that bolster. And then rest our head down.
one side and rub your cheek down. Go ahead and rest on the opposite cheek. Slowly lift your torso back up. Remove props off towards the side. From here, go ahead and sit in an easy pose, cross leg position, one shin in front of the other. Take an inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms up overhead. A little back bend here up at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Switch the cross of your shins. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. A little back bend up at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take your bolster, place it long ways in front of you, and then whichever blanket you're sitting on, take that, unfold it, and then go ahead and bring it underneath the edge of the bolster. So it's now framing and coming off to the sides of our, uh, of our mat. This front blanket. We're going to bring up to the top of our mat, and this blanket roll to the back of our mat. Where we're going is child's pose. So depending on where we feel tension in this posture, we're going to step the blanket roll wherever we need to create space. Knees come wide, toes come together, pull your bolster up in between your legs, and then lay your body down. So if we're feeling tension, in our ankles, we bring the blanket underneath our ankles. If we're feeling tension in our knees, we bring that blanket in between our thighs and shins. So, option one, blanket goes here. Option two, I'll use this front blanket to show you blanket goes here. Now, if when we get down, we want to use the stepping of the blanket in both areas and just use our hands to sort of prop up the bolster underneath, we can do that. You decide where everything goes, your choice. How can you lessen the sensations of this posture in your own body? This top blanket can go on top of your bolster as a pillow or it can be sort of near the middle underneath to prop up to create a little bit more height to rest down on. We'll be here for about three minutes. Just like our forward fold, if you need to move around, if any part of your body starts to fall asleep or get tingly, feel free to move, feel free to create that space. Another option for my flexi yogis is to bring that blanket on top of your torso, add a little extra weight into the posture. This also helps to ground us down a little bit more. If 
find whatever you need to focus on. Or limit all focus together. We'll do rest here in this posture. you're resting one side, move your head down with the bolster, go ahead and switch to the opposite cheek. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Come on to your hands and knees. Knees frame your pillow, your bolster. Hands are somewhere underneath your shoulders and sway your hips side to side. Extend your left leg out, toes up under, rock forwards and back. Knee comes back down, right leg straight, rock forwards. Knee comes back down. Find center here. Take three rounds of cat cow. So as we inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, sit bones curve down, chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Now, coming into our Shavasana. So, bolster long legs, sideways across our mat. Blankets can come out. We'll take our blanket roll that we just used, bring it back to be underneath our head if you like. Now, we can always cover up, sorry, <laughs> went out of the screen. We can always cover up with one of our blankets in our Shavasana. If we want a little extra grounding in our bodies, we'll bring one blanket, fold it up a little bit, on top of our shins and our knees, making sure our knee is stacked directly on top of that bolster or pillow. Lay yourself down. Again, we're sort of all about grounding, all about resting into this posture, this space. So for more grounding, we grab our second blanket. We fold it up and place it across our hips. Hands rest wherever is most comfortable, on our torso, by our sides, wherever you like. If you feel like you need to make more postures, feel free, move around, do stuff. 
until you can find a space where you can rest and relax. We've held postures for a long time already. So if you're someone that needs to release a little bit more energy, feel free to move around before you enter into Shavasana. When you're ready, just press play again. Find your space, embrace this moment, and I'll wake us up at the end.
here as long as you like. When you're ready, play with little fingers, little toes. Little get props off of your body. Roll over onto your right or left side. Rest here. One more round of breath. Deep inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Press yourself up into a comfortable seat. And when you get there, inhale, arms up towards the side, up to the sky. Hands come to touch, exhale. I hope that you found some peace, relaxation. Thank you so much for letting me guide you in this practice. The light in me honors the light 